Kendall writes in, I'm taking my last exam far in one month. Do you recommend doing any practice exams or should I only do practice sets of MCQs and SIMS? Um, so I've said it many times before and some people think it's uh, stupid advice. <laughs> Not the first time. I hate practice exams. Friends don't let friends do practice exams. Um, I'm a bit of a hypocrite because Ninja MCQ has unlimited practice exams, but I only include those because people would want it and ask why it's not included. But I personally do not like practice exams because it's, it's not an effective, nor is it an efficient use of your study time. Um, it's not effective because I don't think it tells you anything. It tells you your, your raw percentage score. That's not how the CPA exam is graded anyway. It, and it's not an efficient because the CPA exam is, um, you know, it's a complicated formula that's of weighted average. And um, I think they, they hide the exact formula in the same vault as the, uh, as the, Coca-Cola recipe and the KFC recipe. And so highly, highly guarded secret, but it's basically a weighted average. Um, and it's a lot more complex than that. So you can't just get a raw percentage and then attribute that to, or correlate that with a, your, how you're going to do it on the exam. So, and also it's inefficient because if you're going to spend four hours of study time, you're a lot better off just, um, doing that in study mode. That way you do a question over bonds, you get the answer, you get the blurb as to why your question was right or wrong. And then it's a learning opportunity. You can, so each question has four learning opportunities. Why, why one answer is correct and why the other three are not correct. So um, again, friends don't let friends do practice exams 